Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony, here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading on letting go of the past. So I was inspired to do this reading for you guys because last night as I was falling asleep, all of a sudden I had this memory from the past that was kind of like disturbing, kind of like cringeworthy if that makes sense. And I felt like this moment of kind of guilt or shame for something that had happened in the past. And then all of a sudden I had this huge light bulb moment, like this huge awakening moment where I realized, wait a second, the past is over. It's gone. I'm here. It's now. <laughs> Has it ever happened to you guys before? Oh my gosh. You know, our mind does kind of sometimes play tricks on us and does, you know, we can have so many memories of the past and this is what haunts so many of us. I think all of us have been haunted by the past before. And if you have PTSD or CPTSD like I do, it can haunt you a little bit more than usual and just be really rough. I've learned so many things on my journey about how to be present in my body. Sometimes just pulling yourself back to the present moment by looking or touching something or smelling something, um, looking out the window and just taking a deep breath, being in your body, planting your feet firmly on the ground and telling yourself it's here. I'm here, it's now, that's enough, you know? I'm the witness. My only job is just to be present in this moment. Follow my inner guidance. It can help you so much. So I find for me, at least, that when I'm falling asleep at night, that's kind of when these thoughts or these memories kind of come in sometimes. Because we tend to kind of review and think about the past a lot right before we go to sleep. and. Sometimes our minds want to cling to anything like quote unquote bad that happened during the day or did I say something stupid or did I make a fool of myself, you know? Any any of you guys out there tend to overthink a little bit? Yeah, I've been through that. And so this is a reading that's going to help you. Basically, what we're going to do is look into like the past and see like what has been bothering you about the past and then we're gonna pull another card to see how you've actually truly overcome this. Like, what is the truth? Where are you truly at in the present? And so it's kind of a message of what is the lie that your mind is telling you and like, what is the truth? So that's kind of what we're gonna cover in these cards today. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. You may not resonate with everyone. Trust yourself and your inner guidance above all else. Only take what resonates with you, okay? So let's get started. Go ahead and choose an object. Number one is the parrot feather. Number two is the sandstone. Number three is the vulture feather. And number four is the raw quartz crystal. So once you've chosen an object, we're gonna get started. If you choose number one, the parrot feather, we're gonna get into the message. And if you choose any of the other objects, head to the comments below where my lovely subscribers always post the timestamps for me. Thank you guys so much for your help with that. So let's get started with number one, okay? So what is haunting you from the past? Like, what have you been thinking about that's been causing you a little bit of anxiety? Okay, so I think the memory from the past that is coming up is like difficult times you've been through, obviously, um, related to the lack of fun that was in your life. So in the past, you were really stuck in like this very boring kind of grinding routine maybe even struggle, maybe even a little bit of poverty. If it wasn't poverty, maybe you were just really working very hard to get your foundation built. And so during this time in your life, it wasn't fun at all. Like you didn't have time for yourself. Maybe your needs were being neglected. Um, and I'm kind of getting the message of maybe somebody that was in school or, or in college or first couple of years starting their career, although that might be diff it might be different for some of you guys, but that is coming up. Um, and so it was like you were doing the right thing to progress your life, but 
you had to make a sacrifice and that sacrifice was like yourself and like your enjoyment. So for some of you guys, it might have been in the past that you chose the facade of stability over your true wants and true needs and true desires. So you ended up kind of living this lifestyle that wasn't really in alignment for you. And as a result of that, I see a lot of challenges, doors closing everywhere, um, one thing happening after the other. For some of you guys, this energy does kind of feel like perhaps an abusive relationship because we see like these two rabbits that are kind of quarreling, you know, fighting a little bit. Maybe you were living with someone, maybe it was family or a relationship, uh, maybe love relationship with someone where they didn't really see the best in you. They didn't treat you with that true love and respect for whatever reason. And I'm, if that's you, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I feel like, and these little blue flowers here kind of remind me of like the flower forget-me-nots. And so sometimes maybe you look back on this relationship or situation and feel like you regret the actions you took or you re regret how it ended or you, you regret maybe there's more you could have done or something like that. So there's a lot coming out here in this energy. It has to do with regrets, it has to do with being afraid that this is going to happen again. Um, maybe you struggle with currently because of what happened. Um, maybe you struggle with self-esteem or being kind to yourself, or perhaps um, maybe it's a struggle with allowing yourself to have fun or have a break or take a rest or something like that. So that that's some of the energy that's coming up. Now, here's the truth about your situation. Here's the truth about what really is here for you in the present and what's on offer for you if if you have this shift of perception so here's the truth <laughs> i love this message so it says the truth is you are free you are free just take a deep breath and breathe in that word freedom Maybe that's something you can do when you find these anxieties coming to you is breathe in that word freedom. You have a lot of enthusiasm now and this enthusiasm has carried you from that past into where you're at in the present. You are confident. You've learned to embrace all sides of yourself, even like the weird sides of yourself. <laughs> Everyone's got those weird sides, those weird ticks. I know what it's like. I, I like tarot and... I don't know, I like some weird stuff. <laughs> I love talking about conspiracy theories and I have some like weird tics about myself and um, I, I love that I can just embrace that and be who I am and the true people that are meant to be in my life will understand it, won't judge me for it. And that's kind of what I see here is you're realizing people that are meant to be in your life will love your weirdness, will love the different things about you or whatever it is. Um, this is your passion. You have become more passionate as a result of what you've been through. So of course you would never thank the people that have abused you or the horrible things that happened on your path, but at the same time, it's like you don't want to take it back because of what you've become because of it. The choices you've made to prevail and to be who you are and be yourself and this is freedom that you fought for. So you have this passion, this enthusiasm. Also, the truth is, is you've overcome this grieving process. Like, I see this mourning grieving card reverse, which the opposite of mourning is celebration. And so what really is on offer for you right now is a true celebration of your life, a true celebration of how far you've come. Um, and that is the message I'm getting for you, to celebrate, celebrate how far you've come celebrate this beautiful energy in your life everything you work to achieve and so this is also talking about you it says that you are a very warm creative person and your strength comes from being very gentle and compassionate with people and you know being able to love people but without making that love like codependent or binding so you've learned to love in a healthy way um, and so you want to love more and you have this strong energy around you. It's very positive, an energy of new beginnings around you. So beautiful message. This is the truth about you in this situation. I hope that it resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later.
peace out. Okay, so for those of you guys who choose the sandstone, here is your message. So first we're going to look at what is this energy from the past that comes up that you worry about sometimes and what is the actual truth about your situation and where you're at right now. So energy from the past. Okay, so what I'm seeing is like a disconnection from other people. Like in the past, you felt disconnected from like a group of friends or a group of people, or perhaps you suffered from bullying um, in school. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like it's a message of not being able to fit in with women specifically. Like maybe you just always felt like an outcast and you couldn't fit in with other women or they ridiculed you or were mean to you like that whole mean girls kind of thing. Um, maybe there's some people here who are interested in women um, romantically and maybe you felt like you were always um, dissed when you tried to go after a woman like they would turn you down. So I just feel this energy of rejection, whether it's friendship or it's um, romantic. It might not necessarily have to do with women, but it does say that on the card. Could be anybody, um, but that's kind of what I'm feeling. And also feeling like an outsider. Um, maybe also you have anxiety because this card is talking about not being able to feel grounded. So maybe you have anxious feelings or you get nervous tics around people or maybe you have a learning disability or some type of other special ability or something. And so it's made you feel uncomfortable around people or you have a hard time connecting or being social. And so like when you think about yourself, you, you think of yourself as very awkward, it's very unsure. Um, and a lot of the memories and panicky moments or like anxiety things that come up in your mind is thoughts of you saying something stupid or um, not having a good interaction or times you've been rejected and so it's kind of on a loop sometimes in your mind. What is the truth though about you and where you're at and your situation now? Okay, this is like the lie, this is the truth. <laughs> so we see this beautiful, it just makes me laugh when I see the truth because it's like, it's funny how our mind plays tricks on us sometimes. This is saying reassurance, like you are a very sensitive person. So that might be why you're so hard on yourself sometimes. And when you look back at the past, you kind of see yourself in a different light. This is telling you the truth is, is that you're an empath. You're a very kind person. You're very gifted. You see the world in a different way than other people. You, you perceive things that are beyond. And so there's a message about being grateful for your gifts. Like truly you are grateful for who you are. And it's brought you many opportunities. Like the unique, special, amazing person that you are has and will continue to bring you a lot of opportunities. Because the truth is no one here on this planet is you. That is your gift. That is what makes you special. Only you can be you. Only you can do your talents and activities and and you know use your purpose and soul mission to do what you can do here only you can speak the way you can only you can be who you are if that makes sense and it's a beautiful special thing and there is no such thing as quote unquote normal everyone is unique everyone has different things about themselves and so this is about like the truth is you've come to balance you've come to peace you spent enough time here in this body in this vessel to learn to be present with it to learn to honor it and so the truth is is like you've been in a transition to like and this is like a vessel, <laughs> a transition, a change in learning to honor your vessel, learning to see yourself as beautiful, learning to see yourself as unique, as, as charming, as amazing as you are. And so I also see freedom, like you are free to make friends and connect with whoever you want. And have you ever heard that quote, like sometimes you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince, like it's kind of the same thing with friends and people in your life. When you're little, like, you're kind of just coaxed to be friends with everyone, get along with everyone, and like, in your early 20s, it's about like, how many friends can you have? And you're, you're very social and want to just meet a bunch of friends, and, and then you kind of get a little older, and 
maybe some people who backstab you or you realize some people are toxic or some people just aren't a good match for you vibrationally and I think the older that you get the more that you go in life the more experience you get you start realizing not everybody deserves a seat at your table so you don't have to worry about maybe feeling cast out anymore because the truth is you get to choose who comes in your life and who stays. You can, There's many opportunities of different kinds of people you can make friends with. There's plenty of fish in the sea when it comes to dating. There's, you know, I believe everyone, if you want to find love, if you want to find friendship, everyone gets a chance. There's people out there for everyone. And so the message here is that you're free. You're free to make a choice. You're free to have healthy boundaries and to create healthy boundaries that help protect you so that you don't have to go through this again, so that you can recognize it and turn away from it. So you have more balance now, you've developed more boundaries, like you feel free to choose, that's the truth, you are free to choose. You have unique abilities that help you become a beautiful artist or perhaps a healer, and you're in a transition to creating new things in your life. You have a lot to be grateful for. And what we see here with the Three of Wands is actually this really really beautiful message about where you're at right now so the three of wands is saying that there have been people that have come in your life who support you and maybe this is your family or maybe this is a couple of good friends but you've had support maybe even a relationship romantically you've gotten support you you moved past that what you've been through in the past and you've gotten support from people and you've really formed a really strong sense of self and you are able to rely on yourself for guidance now and you don't have to care what other people think like you've really set aside these opinions the future is infinite and it's yours so this is you know your future is yours to create no matter what anyone else thinks and so that is your message. I hope that this resonates with you. Thank you so much for your support and I'll see you later. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number three, the vulture feather, we're gonna go ahead and get your message. So what are these thoughts from the past that sometimes come up um, that can cause you a little bit of doubt or fear and what is the actual truth about where you're at right now and the beautiful things that are on offer in your life so here is um the worries from the past okay so i feel like this has a lot to do with finances and look I'm, i moved my leg and like this card got stuck to it and it's so funny because it's the ten of cups reversed um, it has to do with like the Ten of Cups upright is like there's so much coming to you There's all these amazing Possibilities and there's funding for your projects and there's abundance and it's just like there's so much coming in like Everything's manifesting, but this is reversed. So like in the past Like maybe you're a really creative person. You have a lot of ideas um, You kind of are more positively inclined um, you tend to attract a lot of synchronicity in your life but and so that was always true in the past but like you might have struggled with finances so maybe you grew up with being raised in lack mentality or poverty consciousness and that kind of continued on with you throughout life um, maybe you grew up in a war-torn country or a specific place that where you know the general energy around you is people suffering or not receiving a lot and so it's kind of hard to have a positive abundance mindset when you're surrounded by that so this is like your surroundings were rough it could have been even your parents they they made certain choices or were in a certain situation where it was lack um, and so as you grew up, it kind of stuck with you for a little while and you were working and working and working and you just felt like you weren't getting anything in return. Maybe you worked for a specific job that, that really took advantage of you and didn't pay you much and you were like a slave, you felt like a slave. Um, and so it might not be money though. It, was, it might just be feeling like in your life you weren't happy or you weren't satisfied. Like no matter what happened, could have been that maybe there was some really horrible circumstance in your early life 
that really kept you down and you just felt like you could never escape from it. So I know what that's like, you guys. Um, and so that's the past. And so sometimes, like you're living a better life now, but you look back and sometimes you're still worried it's gonna happen again. Or sometimes you see your present situation through those old filters, through those old glasses of lack. Um, despite the amazing creative person you are and the, and the synchronicity that's around you. So what is the truth about your situation and where you're at right now? Um, <laughs> wow. We literally get the truth card. So the truth is you've been through a lot and you are on the other side. This is the Woodward and you guys know this is my Wildwood deck. And so this deck has this whole metaphor of like going through the woods and making it to the other side. And um, in the woods you face all of these different trials and tribulations and you overcome a lot. Well, that's what this is. This guy's like the Woodward. He's made it to the other side and he's strong. He's lived to tell the, the tale of it. Um, the Lynx is a message of like manifestation, hopes and dreams coming true, um, spiritual support, guidance. And this hawk here is a symbol of opportunity. And so the truth is that opportunity surrounds you. You become stronger, you become wiser. I love stories of people that have gone through stuff like this in the past and like built themselves up to be this amazing person. It does build character. It kind of reminds me of that movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. If you haven't seen that and you pulled these cards, please go watch that movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. It's so beautiful and it definitely like inspires you and I just feel like that's I just got a vision of that movie and I feel like maybe you went through something kind of like that so um you've made it through and I love 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 that we're getting the two of swords reversed because the two of swords is kind of a crazy card to get upright because it talks about like a stalemate it talks about opposing forces in your life it talks about um, not being able to make a move, just feeling stuck, repeating the same cycle over and over and over again. Like abundance and well-being being blocked from your life, like needing to make choices, like needing to face the truth. And so I feel like what's happened here is you applied your willpower and you applied your strength and you actually took logical steps to bring abundance and well-being and a good foundation into your life, applying your creativity. And the universe met you in the middle with opportunities, with the, the resources and the things that you needed. So you learned how to co-create. You, you actually pulled yourself up from that situation and did the grunt work. Sometimes in life we feel like with manifestation, law of attraction, that we can just pray and if we're good enough or positive enough that it'll, everything will just appear out of thin air but that's not how it works like we got to do our part too and the truth is you've done your part and the universe has rewarded you and is continuing to reward you and you're rewarding yourself by the steps you're taking and you've built a lot of character and you're someone that people turn to for help when they're struggling you're someone people come to for advice like this is a beautiful part of your path like you have this story now of how you've overcome and I think that it's it's beautiful and look at all these cups here i mean this is showing what you've overcome the truth is it's over and you are on the other side and you've done this you can thank yourself you've done this you've achieved this what i see with the nine of cups here is that your wishes have come true at last worries and fears are cast away. This is a new phase of peace and harmony in your life. The, the universe seems to be granting you like your every wish. And so there's good health in your life, there's happiness, there's tons of material gains around you, and there's more headed your way. So from this to this, I mean, I just absolutely love that. So the truth is, this doesn't, you know, don't wait for the other shoe to drop. You have taken action. You've made, you've created this new future for yourself. You've walked your path. And the past was just the contrast that kind of lit the fire under your butt to like push you in this new direction. Think about it. Every single movie that you see in the movie theater, like when there's a hero or something in the movie, in their past, you always see it starts off with them having a hard time and this is going on and it's like this lack of everything and then all of a sudden they go through these trials these tribulations 
and they overcome and they, they come out on the other side with their elixir, with their, um, with the prize. And so you you follow this journey, the hero's journey. Our life is, is very similar to that sometimes. So just remind yourself it's here and it's now. And um, of course you don't want to forget about your past. You don't want to forget about where you came from, but you also want to remind yourself like you don't have to define yourself by that. And, the truth is where you are now. I hope that resonates with you. Thank you for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. So for those of you guys who choose number four, the quartz crystal, what is like this memory from the past that keeps coming up that might be kind of haunting you? And then what is the truth about like where you're at now and what is truly on offer for you at this time? So the past, Wow, so we're seeing the sun reversed. Okay, so the sun upright is the most positive card in all of the tarot. It's a card about love, joy, peace, happiness, relationships, everything's working now, like living happily ever after. And so this is reversed. So maybe in the past, everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Um, I, I don't know, I just got this vision of somebody like in the dirt crawling. That was so random, but... Um, maybe that's what you felt like. Maybe you felt like you're just crawling and you're not getting anywhere. Like you can't even take a step forward. You're just inching little by little, two steps forward, one step back. Um, I also see this message about, um, seeing the 10 of arrows here is actually really interesting. I kind of want to draw a clarifier. I'll be honest with you guys, because two things came to mind. I just want to make sure that. I know what direction to go in here. Okay. Yep, my first my first impression was what I should have gone with here. But yeah, I'm seeing a strict upbringing. A strict upbringing. So maybe you were raised in a really strict, maybe even religious situation or household. I know what that's like. Um, maybe you were raised by, maybe your family or the people that raised you really did want the best for you, but they, they were different kind of people than you. And you, maybe you're more, um, creative and stuff and you were really raised to be obedient to them. And now that you've gotten older, you, it's hard for you to trust yourself. It's hard for you to feel obedient to yourself. So your whole life has been like this discovery of like, what do I want? Like, what is my purpose? Like, trusting in yourself, being kind to yourself, like learning that it's okay to be who you are. Cause maybe the way that you were raised is kind of different from who you actually are. And I'm thinking about people maybe who were raised in a strict household who realized later that they were gay or bisexual or maybe, you know, transgender or something. I know some people have gone through that. I've heard a lot of stories from you guys doing readings for you guys and it touches my heart what some of you guys have been through um having to leave behind a traditional situation in your society where you live or with your family or something because you don't feel like you're accepted for who you are so some of you guys have been through that on a scale of one to ten it could be anywhere it could be super extreme where you're like cast out because you're different or maybe it's just sometimes you feel like a little you felt in the past a little guilty or it took you longer to be able to break away from that and like figure out who you are so that's like the past um now what's the truth about where you're at right now your situation and like what is on offer for you Wow, so I'm seeing this message about how you actually have healed a lot from this. For a while, it kind of made you re kind of, re you were treated a lot. Maybe you spent a lot of time indoors or in your room, didn't really want to go out, be around people. But since then, you've like empowered yourself to be the true person that you are, to believe in things you want to believe in, to be and speak your truth. And so... You've processed all these emotions and you, you've decided, I'm going to be free. I'm going to be me no matter what anyone thinks. And that's where you're at right now. And furthermore, you're able to work towards your responsibilities. Like you've decided what type of lifestyle you want or what, what kind of job you want to create. Maybe you've already done this. You've handled your responsibilities really well. You've handled everything that's come your way with grace. You've listened to yourself. You've learned how to listen to yourself and your truth. There have been many 
rewards and um, really good energy around you because of that. And you finally got to a point where you're like, I can actually visualize what I want now with, without feeling guilty or without feeling like I have to be obedient to someone or some something else. And you learned how to surrender. Like you got to this place where you were like, I don't know what's gonna happen with my life. Like I'm scared to go out of this kind of bubble I was in, but I'm just gonna trust the universe. And because of it, like you were guided to a, a whole brand new life, which is where you're at right now. And this has even opened doors up for you to get education. Maybe you're going to school because of it, or perhaps you're on the other side of your education and the universe is just saying, remember, like you've achieved a lot. You have this degree now, or you've been through this process. Maybe some of you guys didn't choose traditional education, but you're learning through this process or you're teaching yourself something new or you're getting a mentor or something. And so what I love here too, with the Six of Swords, is that you have recovered from a difficult time. And here's this rainbow here because I did talk about some of you guys who had to step away from a strict uh, upbringing because you realized you were gay or bisexual or whatever, um, LGBTQ. Um, so I do kind of see this message, but even if you don't identify with that, um, you feel the freedom to be yourself. And so like you actually got some time to rest and revitalize, you met some new friends, um, maybe you've traveled or taken some trips or there's funding that's going into that very soon and you've lifted your spirit since then. So really, this is a message you are on the other side. You are empowered to be the true person you are. You've gone through this healing. You've learned how to listen to yourself. You've learned you, you're getting educated or you're educating yourself. You've taken responsibility. You've learned how to care for yourself. Um, and you've opened up to what the universe has for you in your life and you've learned how to how to really just be confident in your own skin and that is the truth so i hope that this resonates with you guys thank you so much for coming to my channel i was just really inspired to give this message to you it's mercury retrograde right now sometimes we're thinking about the past things are coming up for review uh, this is a timeless reading if you end up watching this a couple years in the future even when it's not mercury retrograde but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you'd like a personal rating from me, uh, my information's below. You head over to my website, promiseharmony.com slash services. But I do have free content on this channel every day. So if you'd like more free content, just subscribe and keep coming to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.